Hi, so I have a story to read to you. It's a story I wrote a long time ago. I wrote it for my children and I had wanted to get it illustrated. And when I was living in St. Lucia, an artist there who I became friends with named Mo Jean did start to illustrate it, but she never finished. And I had wanted to get it put into book form because I wanted my children to have it, but I was never able to do that. So I just thought I would share it here. This is called Arrow House. It was a Saturday night. I remember it well. I was in the kitchen singing Farmer in the Dell when all of a sudden I saw a tiny mouse who yelled up at me, get out of my house. I looked down at him so small on the floor. I answered right back. This is my house, I'm sure. At this he ran up the leg of my chair, jumped into my lap. He gave me a scare. He raised his little fist right up to my face, yelled, I'm telling you now, this here is my place. This is my house, my long time abode. You'd better leave now, you slimy hop toad. Now he was name calling. I was getting mad. Listen here, you, it belongs to my dad. He grew up here and you bet so did I. So you'd better be quiet or I'll black in your eye. He ran down my leg, zipped around the dog bowl. I watched him scurry right back to his hole. Good, good, I thought. He's running away. But then he returned, much to my dismay. He was accompanied by four other gray mice. Their teeth were bare. They didn't look nice. Clutched in their hands were slingshots and stones, and all were pointed at my bodily bones. Now you've had it, said the one who started the trouble. You get out now, quick, quick, on the double. Not yet, I said with a grimace and hiss. I've got brothers and sisters to help me with this. I called my brothers, Jason and Joe, my two sisters too, Fiona and Flo. Come in here, I shouted. Let's get out of this kind. Bring all of the weapons you can possibly find. My brothers and sisters came charging right in, traps and sprays to do all these measly mice in. It was us against them and them against us. We were ready to battle when in came Dog Gus. He walked in between us. I couldn't believe my ear when I heard him clearly ask, What's happening here? These mice have lived here a long time, it's true. And so, my people friends, I realize have you. But no matter who's lived here the longest you see, it can be home to you all with peace and harmony. I knew for him to say that took a whole lot of guts, but I couldn't help thinking that maybe he was nuts. Look, he continued, this space you can share. That's not unreasonable. It seems only fair. Don't be so stubborn. You should listen to me. You must stop this fighting. Just let each other be. You often make a mess, leaving your crumbs on the floor. But they eat them all up till there aren't any more. Now there would be nothing at all to eat for you if these people you see didn't live right here too. Now drop all of your weapons. Get on with your lives. Take care of your sisters, brothers, husbands, and wives. We thought maybe he's right, dropped our weapons in shame. And while we did that, the mice did the same. We went on with our lives, even got to know one another. Now we're even calling each other sister and brother. So before you decide to cause someone dread, please first make an effort to know them instead. That's the end of story time.